We're gonna start with this song. This is a, this is Earth Day. Happy Earth Day 2021. Feels like, feels like there's some change happening. Like we might actually be turning a corner here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be some work for us to restore Mother Earth, but it feels like there's some, some real momentum. Hey, Cindy. Let's start with this one. Let me sing you this song. It's mysterious. And then I'm gonna ask you to play parts in it. Okay, it goes like this. Land of the silver birch, home of the beaver, where the mighty moose wanders at will. And rocky shore, I will return once more. Boom, diddy, boom, 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 diddy, boom, 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 diddy, boom, boom, Down in the forest, deep in the lowlands, my heart cries out for thee. Hills of the north, blue lake and rocky shore, I will return once more. Boom diddy boom boom, boom diddy boom boom, boom diddy boom boom. Okay, that's the song, Land of the Silver Birch. But to do this, we all need to pick a part. Land of the Silver Birch. You can stand up. I think everybody should stand up for this. If you can, stand up. Land of the Silver Birch. So what motion will you do with your body for, a, for the Silver Birch? So have you ever seen a birch tree? It's the one that has the white bark with the black marks on it and the bark peels off real easily. Anyway. So they have these leaves, but a silver birch has kind of silvery green leaves and on the, actually the bottoms of the leaves are what's silver and it's got kind of a fuzzy thing. We had a, we had a silver birch in our yard when I was growing up. Anyway, so you have to make the motion. Land of the silver birch, whatever you're gonna be. Home of the beaver. What are you gonna do for beaver? Some people do, do the big teeth. Some people slap their hands on the water like a beaver tail. Land of the silver birch, home of the beaver, where the mighty moose, what does a moose have? It has big antlers. Where the mighty moose wanders at will. Blue lake. Maybe just like watery, blue lake and rocky shore. Can you make yourself a rock? Blue lake and rocky shore. I will return once more. Now play on a drum. Boom, diddy, boom, boom. Boom, diddy, boom, boom. Boom, diddy, boom, boom. Whoa. That's the first verse. Second verse. Down in the forest. Deep in the lowlands, maybe for lowlands we make a make a flat space. Down, down in the forest, deep in the lowlands, my heart cries out for the hills of the north. Can you be a hill? Can you be a hill? Hills, or maybe point up to them. Hills of the north. Blue lake and rocky shore, I will return once more. Drum, boom, diddy, boom, 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 diddy, boom, 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 diddy, boom, boom, whoa. I love this song. Now I'm going to play the guitar and sing the song. You guys do the motions, okay? <clears throat> There's something mysterious about this. Something big and awesome and beautiful that this captures. Let's try it. Ready? 
Land of the silver birch, home of the beaver, where the mighty moose wanders at will. Blue lake and rocky shore, I will return once more. into the forest down in the forest deep in the lowland my heart cries out for the hills of the north blue lake and rocky shore I will return It's just one of the many beautiful places on this planet. There's a lake in there, there's a forest, there's some lowlands, the moose, the beaver, the water. Yeah, happy Earth Day. Okay, we're gonna do this next one. <clears throat> I have to bring this up. Hang on a second. <clears throat> One of the other places in the world are the grasslands. And there are parts of the world, planet that are just like open grasslands. And so let's, let's visit the grasslands. Here we go. Cows and goats and horses. Uh, I'm sorry, wait a minute, here we go. Cows and goats and horses and sheep. Out in the field, you won't hear a peep. They've got their heads to the ground, using their teeth to eat grass. Water, buffalo, wildebeest too, antelope, elk, even kangaroo, and ostriches and tortoises. Who knew they eat grass? Out on the savanna, the impala and gazelle run free. They sure are fast, man oh man -a. Guess where they get their energy? Those camels and zebra llamas and mules have special teeth, perfect tools for ripping up and chewing their favorite fuel, I mean grass. There's all kinds of gas on the grazer menu, bluegrass, needlegrass, foxtail, fescue, herds roam all across the plains to savor it. Red oat grass is the zebra's favorite. If you offer a horse macaroni and cheese, a piece of fried chicken, or a black-eyed peas, he'll say, no, 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 thank you, please, I want grass. If you want to know the deal, the favorite meal is a lush green field of freshly grown chlorophyll. Nothing quite else can fill the bill like plain old run-of-the-mill grass. <laughs> okay, so we're back. You know what? I want to do this song. Because it's fun. <laughs> and it talks about another part of the planet. But it's a fun song. It's an old song. So let's do the chorus and I'll get you in. <laughs> Ho, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley. Oh, ho, row the rattling bog, the bog down. You know what a bog is? It's kind of a wet place. It's a place where there's a lot of water, but there are plants growing in it. And if you walk through it, it's really wet, you get your sneakers wet, and it'll make a sound like this. Yep. So in bogs, they sometimes cranberries grow in bogs. 
all kinds of plants grow on bogs. And uh, so this song is talking about a rattling bog. And actually that word rattling used to mean extraordinary or special. So it's an awesome bog we're walking through, okay? So there's motions. The rattling bog. Can you do these? You have to stand up for this. Bog, the bog down in the valley. Oh. So let me show you. you, you when you say oh, you put your arm like this and you lift up your foot in the back. You can't see it on mine. But anyway, so you, valley. Oh, ho, ro, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley. Oh. Now in this bog, there was a hole. A rare hole, a rattling hole, a hole in the bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Okay, now you guys, you do your motions. You can make them up if you want. Now in this hole, there grew a tree. What would you do for a tree? A rare tree, a rattling tree, a tree in the hole, a hole in the bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Now on this tree, there grew a limb, a big heavy limb, a rare limb, a rattling limb, a limb on the tree, the tree in the hole, the hole in the bog, the bog down. limb, there grew a branch, a rare branch, a rattling branch, a branch on the limb, the limb on the tree, the tree in the hole, the hole in the bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. <laughs> now on this branch, there was a twig. What, what are you going to do for a twig? A rare twig, a rattling twig, a twig on the branch, the branch on the limb, the limb on the tree, the tree in the hole, the hole in the bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Now on this twig, there was a leaf, a rare leaf, a rattling leaf, a leaf on the twig, the twig on the branch, the branch on the limb, the limb on the tree, the tree in the hole, the hole in the bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Okay. <clears throat> on this leaf, there was a flower. Can you make a flower? A rare flower, a rattling flower, a flower on the leaf, the leaf on the twig, the twig on the branch. On the limb, the limb on the tree, the tree in the hole, the hole in the bog, the bog down in the valley. Oh, on this flower, there was a fly, a rare fly, a rattling fly, a fly on the flower, the flower on the leaf, the leaf on the twig, the twig on the branch, the branch on the limb, the limb on the tree. Okay, you guys. Whew. All right. <clears throat> well, in honor of Earth Day, I'd like to sing this. It'll be on 
my upcoming album. I stand beneath an open sky, a vast expanse of blue, and wonder all about the worlds that lie beyond my view. A hundred billion galaxies with massive neutron stars and things like any gravity dark matter and quasars and on those far off planets are there creatures living if so, what do they eat for lunch? What do they breathe for air? Do they have fruits like cherries? And figs and nectarines? And vegetables like broccoli? Bok choy and lima beans Do they have grass to run on? And big tall climbing trees And daffodils And hummingbirds And butterflies We only know of one such miracle in space With cats and dogs and speckled frogs And us, the human race Though off to some of the other planets Someday astronauts may roam But we humans hit the jackpot When we got this one for our Okay, I want to see some, I'm not sure, thank you, Leslie, I do too, touches my heart. So I want to try this, I'm not sure you'll be able to hear it, um, no, 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 you'll, you'll hear it, because it's a video, okay, all right, I'm doing a couple of these songs from, from the new album, we did They Eat Grass, this one is another one, fun. I am a black rhinoceros, I weigh over a ton. You may not guess how big as I am, you may not guess how fast that I can run. I have two horns, sometimes three that stick out of my head. Do not pick a fight with me or you may end up dead. I am a vegetarian, I graze on leaves and shoots. I snack on twigs like pretzels, I am fond of many fruits. Thorns and sticks don't bother me, that's why I have thick skin. I push my way right in. I have four legs I stand on, each with two little toes. How do they hold up all my weight? The truth is no one knows. 
I am a black rhinoceros. Be careful around me. I have a nasty temper. I'm as ornery as can be. I know I can look silly rolling in the mud. It's true. But don't be fooled. I'm dangerous and I'm much faster than you. Um, ba da dum, da da dum, ba da 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 dum, bum, 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 bum. Oh my goodness! What? What an amazing planet we live on. We have rhinoceroses, rhinoceri, rhinoceroses. I don't know. <clears throat> so, as you know, Mother Nature needs our help. She's warming up. And we've talked a lot about bucket filling in my concerts. You know where we do kind things for people? We look out for each other. We need to fill... Mother Earth's bucket. We do that a lot of ways. You can write in. What do you, what do you think? What are some of the ways you can be a bucket filler for Mother Earth? You can just write it in. I know what I'm trying to do. I know what our family's trying to do. We're gonna sing this really simple bucket filling song and think about. Mother Earth, okay? Recycle, absolutely. Fill a bucket, you can sing it back to me. Fill a bucket, fill a plant a tree. Every day, every day, I like filling buckets. Recycle. Filling buckets, you will too, you will too. Fill a bucket, fill a bucket, every day, every day. I can fill a bucket. trying to <clears throat> think about plastic, buying less plastic. I mean, there's some things it's a great use for, like a toy that you're going to play with over and over and over and over again. That's great. But all the stuff that's wrapped in plastic that just gets thrown away one time. So I'm making choices. I'm buying things in glass that really does get recycled or, or paper, you know? Lots of things we can do. Composting, we're composting. Not everybody can, it depends on where you live, you've got space. It doesn't take a lot of space. Yes. So we take all the vegetable stuff and put it in a, in a thing outside and I keep keep making good black dirt out of it using con glass containers instead of plastic Tupperware. Lots of different things we can do. And one of the things we all can do is write to our Congress people and our state representatives and tell them how important climate change is. I know Wesley helps you compost. Oh my gosh, composting is great. So as we think about it, just think about being a bucket filler for Mother Nature. Lots of things we can do. Fill a bucket, fill a bucket every day, every day. I can fill a bucket, I can fill a bucket.
Well, I thought we'd maybe read a poem or two. <clears throat> These are some poems that I wrote, a couple of poems I wrote when I was writing the songs for the new album. Yeah, that's right. When you order out, say, no, thanks for the plasticware. I'm good. It's wrapped in plastic usually, and, <laughs> and then you take it home, and do you use it? You use your own silverware, right? Okay, <clears throat> imagine a flying machine with no engine, no jet fuel to burn, no exhaust. What could that be? No runways to take off or land on, flying hither and yon at no cost. Such an amazing invention already exists. Have you heard? It's been here on this planet much longer than us. It's the thing you and I call a... A bird, yeah. It's a flying machine with no engine. It has no jet fuel to burn, no exhaust. It doesn't take off from runways. It flies hither and yon at no cost. Such an amazing invention already exists, have you heard? It's been here on this planet much longer than us. It's the thing you and I call a bird. Thank you, Lindsay. You're right. It's a bird. Yeah. Just look at the birds. We take them for granted. They fly around. We just know they fly. But look at them. Oh, my gosh. And they sing sometimes. <whistles> yes, they do. All right. <clears throat> now, I want you to take a deep breath. <sighs> Let that air out. Take another deep breath. All right, there are clouds on Venus made of sulfuric acid. If we'd been born on Venus, how long would we have lasted? Mars has almost no air. Go on and hold your breath. <laughs> That's how long you'd last on Mars, <laughs> but no more talk of death. Take a breath and hold it, just like you did before. Now let it out and breathe again. On Earth, there's always more. Yes, breath. And you can thank phytoplankton and plants and the Amazon rainforest for all that oxygen that we breathe in. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm going to end with this. Oh, you are. Cindy says she's, she's serenaded by birds at her apartment complex. Yay. And Linda says hummingbirds. Aren't they amazing? You see how fast they go? And then they just hover in the air? Yeah. I had one come to me while I was saying prayers the other day and just sort of sit on the branch. They don't, you don't see him do that too often, but he just sat there. And I looked at him and looked at me, and then he flew away. Okay. So this is actually an, it's kind of an evening song. But I'm going to sing it now. <clears throat> Kind of like a song prayer for Mother Earth. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. Shine on people of the earth Make us worthy of our birth Unless through dark of night That we might walk in truth and light Starlight, 
star bright First star I see tonight Wish I may, wish I might Have the wish I wish tonight Shine on animals and plants illuminate their lifelong dance light the land the sky and sea and all that share life's mysteries little beacon out in space shine upon the human race grant this humble hopeful prayer that peace might flourish everywhere starlight star bright first star I see tonight wish I may Well, thanks for joining me today. You guys have a wonderful Earth Day. Let's keep thinking about how we can fill Mother Nature's bucket. Okay? You guys have a great day. I'll see you next week.